Hi friends, welcome back to Meet Your Teeth. I'm Dr. Mevish and this video is all about LDS exam. Right from the exam pattern, how to apply for the exam, the documents required, the cost for each part and what you need to study. So if you are interested to appear for this exam, keep watching to know everything that you need to know. Before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest videos. So what is LDS? It is License in Dental Surgery. It is a registration exam that allows overseas dentists to practice as a dentist in the UK. So most likely if you are an overseas dentist, you can either appear for ORE or LDS exam. I have discussed about ORE in the previous videos. Please check out um, the link in the description box below. Coming to the LDS exam, it includes three parts. Let us see in detail what does this include. Let's see the pattern of the exam. Part one is a theory-based exam. It includes two papers. So that is single best answer questions and extended matching questions. Each paper lasts for about 150 minutes. You need to pass both the papers in order to progress to part two. And this part is held in a single day. Coming to part two, it includes two sections. There will be 12 or ski stations, each lasting about seven minutes and four unseen cases, each approximately 30 minutes. The exam will be held over a two day period. Coming to part three, it includes the dental mannequin, wherein the examiner will ask you to um, perform various exercises and um, it will last for 180 minutes. It is held in a single day. This is a screenshot from the RCS website, which uh, explains briefly about the pattern of the exam. So as you can see, part one will be um, assessing your applied knowledge. In OSCEs, um, this applied knowledge will be put to test by assessing your uh, clinical skills, such as the radiographic interpreting, interpretation, prescription writing, obtaining consent, and so on, your communication skills, your response to the medical emergencies, uh, about the oral health care, um, ethics and legal principles, and so on. In the unseen cases, mainly it will be focused on uh, history taking, investigations, how you arrive at a diagnosis, how you formulate a treatment plan, and how well you explain it to the uh, patient. You know, your communication skills matter a lot. Coming to uh, part three, which is basically the practical assessment of your dental skills. Let's see how many maximum attempts you get to pass each part. For part one, you get maximum of up to four attempts. For part two, you get up to three attempts. And for part three, you get three attempts. Please bear in mind that you get five years to complete all the parts. That means that when you first appear for part one, from there on, your clock starts ticking and you need to complete the part two and part three within the five years of passing part one. That's how it works. Coming to the exam fees. Yeah, so these exams are very expensive. As you can see, my advice is that you study really well, plan ahead and uh, book the exam only when you are confident because uh, obviously you don't want to be losing a lot of money in multiple attempts. So part one is about um, 900 pounds, part two is 1575, part three is 1525. All right, so let's see the application process. It is must that you have an online RCS account. This can be created anytime. Just go on to the RCS website and make the RCS account. Keep an eye on the RCS website for whichever part of the exam that you wish to book for. All the information about uh, the exam dates and timings will be announced on the RCS website. So that particular date and time, you need to log on to your RCS account and only then you will be able to book the exam. 
once the seat is confirmed, you will be receiving an email from the RCS asking you to um, submit the supporting documents. Now, the application process can be either on the first come first basis or it could be like a lottery system. Depends on which part of the exam that you are appearing for, whether for part one, two or three. So if it's the first come first basis, make sure that you have good Wi-Fi connection. Obviously, all this information will be updated on the RCS website as well. So this is how it works. When the exam slot is expected to open, be ready on your laptops, log into your RCS account and book the exam online. Then uh, wait for the confirmation email from the RCS. Once you receive it, you will be given a set amount of days wherein you will be requested to send the supporting documents. Let's see the list of supporting documents required for part one exam. You need to submit a copy of your final degree certificate, original NADIC certificate. This can be obtained from um, this particular website. Make sure that you have enough time before you um, get this certificate because it can take up to two to three weeks at time. Then a copy of your valid passport, a copy of your marriage certificate only if applicable in case of name change. Make sure that all the attested copies must state that this is a true copy of the original and must officially be signed by the awarding body, lawyer, solicitor, notary public or UK GDC registrant. If you are getting it signed by a UK GDC registrant, make sure that you include their uh, number as well. The GDC number, then um, it should also be signed and dated. If you are appearing for part two, this is the list of the supporting documents. Application form, character reference, clinical experience reference showing at least 1600 hours of clinical experience, health certificates um, that shows um, the serolo serological status of hepatitis B, C and HIV, translation of any documents if they are not in English, original good standing certificate, original IELTS report, wherein you will need to have uh, the overall score of seven with no individual sections of less than uh, lower than 6.5. Please do remember that IELTS report is only valid for two years, so plan properly. Evidence of name change only if applicable. Certified copies of your degree certificate, passport and marriage certificate only if there is name change. Diversity monitoring form as well. Coming to part three, there is no eligibility documentation required. So uh, once you have completed LDS exam and you have successfully passed it, there will be about 230 pounds of completion fee that will be collected by the RCS once you have you know, passed the exam. You will also be required to uh, complete a serology test and also a BLS course. Well, well, so it is a competitive exam and you need to study really well to pass all the three parts. It is not by luck, but it's all by hard work. I would say smart work and dedication that you will be able to pass the exam. So for part one, I have created a study plan. Please check out this video. I will also share the link in the description box below. And for part two and part three, hopefully I will make a study plan um, in the future videos. I wish you all the very best. Please check the RCS website for the latest information and updates as things can keep changing. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch on any of my social media platforms and I will be more than happy to help you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe to Meet Your Teeth. Also, check out the previous videos about the various dental exams in UK and about my journey as an overseas dentist in UK. Um, if you have any particular topic in mind on which you would like me to do a video, please do let me know in the comments box below. I will be back again with another informative video. Till then, take care. Bye.